So watch this interaction. Sorry about the noise, but that big leafy nest is a tray, a squirrel's nest. There's a squirrel inside. For some reason, the crows keep trying to get at it. Maybe there's something in there that they're trying to find to eat or whatever. But the squirrel's going to defend that tray. They don't tend to use them as much in the winter time, but for some reason, this one's occupied. And let's see if we can see what happens when the crow gets too close. Oh, it's going to pick through it. Amazing. Oh, there's a squirrel off to the left. I don't know. It gave up. It's not trying to... Oh, there it is. It came out to, uh, to try to chase the uh, crow away. And I don't think the crow can do much damage to the squirrel. The squirrel can give a nasty bite to the crow, but of course it doesn't want to fall, and it is outnumbered at this point. But again, there are, there are crows all around it, actually. And for some reason, they're really interested in this dray, the squirrel's nest. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm trying to get a good angle. Oh, and well, one crow's eating, so something, they did pull something out of there. Interesting. But again, not sure what uh, the significance is of all this. But an interesting interaction. I'm hoping the crow tries one more time to get in there. And we can see if the uh, squirrel is that set on defending that, uh, that old tray. Again, in the winter time, they tend to not use them as much. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like it's abandoned its attempts. Squirrels tend to use more tree cavities because they're more secure. But when there's not enough tree cavities, they'll have to use the drays. And they do like to use them in the summertime when they're not nest when they're not breeding because it's airy and a little bit cooler. A squirrel's nest, a dray. With the squirrel inside, for some reason the crows were, were raiding.